All right, here we're going to look at a couple uh, examples just related to parametric equations. So um, suppose we've got a curve in the plane that can be described by the parametric equations uh, x equals 1 plus sine t, y equals negative 2 plus cosine t. We want to know what point in the plane corresponds to the point t equals pi over 2. Well, not much to do in this case except to plug in pi over 2. So at t equals pi over 2, we'll have x equals 1 plus sine of pi over 2, and we'll have y equals negative 2 plus cosine of pi over 2. Well, let's see. Sine of pi over 2, that's going to put us at the top of the unit circle. Sine there equals positive 1, so the x-coordinate will equal positive 2, Cosine of pi over 2 is going to equal 0, so uh, the y-coordinate is simply going to equal negative 2. So the point in the plane at pi over 2, uh, it'll be sitting at the point 2, comma, negative 2. So, all right, easy enough, just a matter of sort of a plug and chug. Part B says, what familiar geometric shape is traced out as we allow t to increase? Well, you could always start picking values uh, for t, plugging them in, uh, making a little graph. I'm going to go ahead and do part c and figure out the equation for part b, um, and that will tell us as well. The way we're going to do uh, to find the equation, so the equation uh, for part b, is we're going to do, again, what's called eliminating the parameter. So what I'm going to try to do is just simply re uh, produce uh, an equation that relates x and y together. And then hopefully that'll be something, uh, a formula that I'll recognize. So let's see, notice our x equals 1 plus sine t. We can subtract 1 and get, well, x minus 1 equals sine t. We can add 2 and have y plus 2 equaling cosine t. But now we're going to use a little trig identity. So recall, you know, cosine squared uh, of t plus sine squared of t. That's going to equal positive 1. Well, uh, we can replace, so we've got cosine squared. Again, cosine is going to be y plus 2 quantity squared. We've got sine squared, which is x minus 1. That equals positive 1. And again, I'm not really going to do anything at all here. This is x minus 1 squared. I'm just going to reorder it. y plus 2 squared equals 1. So recall if we have uh, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, this is going to be the graph of a circle with a center of hk and a radius of r. So in this case, uh, if we were to start plotting points in our parametric equation, what we're going to do is we're simply going to produce the uh, graph of a circle. The graph of a circle with a center at positive 1 and negative 2, and with a radius. Again, we take the square root, but this will just be a square root of 1. So the radius will equal 1. But again, the answer to part C uh, will be this equation. That's now the nice uh, equation that's going to describe our circle in the plane.